yoga for sleep, yoga poses to help you fall asleep. Whether you are looking for an exercise routine to increase energy levels, or you just want to sleep better, there are a variety of different yoga poses you can do to help you sleep. The first is a traditional pose called Saptabhati Konasana. This pose is a great way to stretch out and relax. Other poses include the cat and cow pose and the lizard pose. Cat and cow pose. Using the cat and cow pose in yoga can be an effective way to alleviate anxiety and stress. It can also be a great sleep aid. It stretches the spine and abdominal organs, as well as improves posture. It is also beneficial for those who suffer from back and neck pain. The cat and cow pose is a low-risk yoga exercise that helps strengthen the back. It also stretches the abdominal organs, neck, and chest. It is a good choice for pregnant women. It also stimulates the adrenal glands and kidneys. When practicing the cat and cow pose, it is important to use the right technique. If you are suffering from back pain, you should be careful not to bend your neck. The most vulnerable areas of the spine are the neck and lower back. If you have back or neck problems, you should first consult with a healthcare professional before you begin yoga. The cat and cow pose is usually performed as a gentle warm-up for yoga. However, it can be performed as a more rigorous exercise. If you are able to maintain the proper breathing techniques, you can achieve maximum benefits from the pose. The benefits include increased flexibility in the spine, back and neck support, and relief from anxiety. The cat and cow pose is characterized by smooth transitions. It helps to strengthen the back and neck and improves balance and coordination. It can also help ease pain in the knees and wrists. While practicing the cat and cow pose, you should breathe deeply. As you exhale, your head should naturally drop down. Legs up to wall pose. Practicing the legs up to wall pose will help you get a good night's sleep. The pose enables your body to relax and helps your brain to release stress. This pose is also great for easing menstrual cramps, reducing anxiety, improving circulation, and reducing pain. Legs up to wall is also helpful in lowering blood pressure. When your body is relaxed and in a comfortable position, the parasympathetic side of your nervous system takes over. The relaxation response is important because it helps your body's natural processes to slow down. In addition, this pose will help your body to flush out toxins and excess fluid. A study by the Harvard School of Public Health found that practicing the legs up to wall pose for 20 minutes can improve sleep. However, if you're not sure how to do the pose, it may be helpful to consult a yoga teacher. You can also download apps for guidance. The legs up to wall pose is a popular pose among TikTok influencers. Many people recommend this pose because it reduces back pain, improves circulation, and helps you get a good night's sleep. While the pose is safe for most people, you should consult a doctor if you have a serious health problem. Also, be sure to consult with your doctor before practicing this pose if you're pregnant. The legs up to wall pose is not recommended for people with hernia or glaucoma. It can also be uncomfortable for people with tight lower backs, so you should avoid it if you have those issues. You should also consult a doctor if you suffer from any chronic health problems, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, or a heart condition. You may want to consult with your doctor before you begin a new yoga routine. Subtabhati Konasana Performing Subtabhati Konasana before bedtime can help you get a good night's sleep. This yoga pose can help you relax and relieve stress so that you can sleep better. Performing this yoga pose before bedtime can also help you fall asleep quicker. Subtabhati Konasana is a full body pose that will relax your body and allow you to focus on your breathing. This is an excellent yoga pose for people who suffer from insomnia. You can also perform this yoga pose after eating a meal to help with digestion. This yoga pose helps to improve your blood circulation, which is important for your overall health. It also relieves stress and anxiety so you can sleep better. It also soothes your digestive system, reproductive organs, and nervous system. It is also great for people who are prone to headaches. Septabata is also a great yoga pose for people who suffer from low back pain. This pose will stretch the muscles in your lower back and groin area, allowing you to get relief from numbness and pain in these areas. It also reduces pain associated with hemorrhoids. It also helps to improve your heart health and increase your kidney function. While performing Septabata Konasana, make sure to breathe deeply into your abdomen. You can imagine that your breath is massaging the abdominal organs. The longer you lie in Septabata, the deeper you will be able to relax into this pose. You can practice Septabata Konasana on a daily basis to help you get a good night's rest. However, you should make sure that you have a regular sleep schedule. In yoga, in yoga for sleep is a technique that combines deep breath focused stretches and meditation. It is designed to ease your nervous system and soothe your body so that you can get a good night's rest. It can be done in the comfort of your own home. The National Sleep Foundation recommends getting at least seven hours of sleep each night. When you have difficulty sleeping, it can lead to anxiety, memory issues, and concentration problems. It can also affect your heart and weight. Getting enough sleep can also improve your mood. In Yoga for Sleep helps you to get that sleep and wake up feeling refreshed. In Yoga for Sleep can be done in the comfort of your own bedroom. It can be done using a road blanket or a bolster. These props help to complete the release of muscles. It can also be used to help to relieve stress. The yin yoga for sleep sequence can be as short or as long as you want it to be. 
Depending on your individual needs, you can try any of these poses for a few minutes or for a few hours. If you are a beginner, start with the simpler stretches. Then you can move on to the more advanced stretches. The forward fold is a great yin yoga for sleep exercise. It is designed to stretch out the back of your body and help turn your attention inward. The pose is usually held for a few minutes. You can modify it by placing your head on a pillow or by stretching your arms forward. The balancing pose is another great yin yoga for sleep exercise. You can place your right knee on a bolster or block for added support. Next, you can stretch your legs out long and release your arms by the sides. Lizard Pose Using yoga for sleep is an effective way to help your body relax. It can help you relax the muscles in your legs and back, and it can also help to reduce stress. There are several poses you can use to calm your mind and body, and some of them are quite challenging. You can also use essential oils to help you relax. Lizard Pose is a great way to release stress and relax your back muscles. It can also strengthen your leg muscles, which is ideal for people who have tight hamstrings and hip flexors. The pose is also an excellent stretch for your quadriceps. To get started, choose a comfortable clothing item and choose a cool spot to do the pose. Using a soft pillow between your right knee and the floor can also provide additional support. Before attempting any yoga for sleep, you should warm up. Lunges, hip circles, and supine pigeon are all good warm-up poses. Warm showers are also beneficial. Lizard pose is a great hip opener, and it can also help your digestion run smoothly. It is also a good stretch for your hamstrings, hip flexors, and quadriceps. Before attempting lizard pose, you should do a few warm-ups. Inhomucus vanasana is a great prep pose for lizard pose. It begins with the left foot forward and then between the hands. After the foot is down, lower the left knee to the floor, then press up into the ball of the left foot. This will help you distribute your weight and reduce the contraction in your hips. Another great hip opener is legs on the wall pose. This is a recommended pose by doctors, and it can help to relax and loosen tight hip flexors. Hope you enjoyed the video and ask that you subscribe to the channel and our newsletter in the description below. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. The best way to get started with yoga is to find a class near you and attend a few times. While most classes are oriented towards beginners, you'll likely have a few poses that feel awkward or challenging at first. You might also feel embarrassed or out of place at first, but everyone else in class has felt that way at some point too. Just go at your own pace and remember that everyone else is just as nervous as you are. In fact, some of the most common questions asked in yoga classes are, am I doing this right? And how do I do this pose? Here are some tips to help you get started with yoga. One, wear comfortable clothing that doesn't restrict movement. Two, try not to worry too much about how you look, as most people in class are focused on themselves and their own practice rather than your form or appearance. Three, don't be afraid of asking questions if something confuses you. Many instructors welcome questions from beginning students because they know it will help them feel more comfortable in class later on. In general, the purpose of yoga is to keep your body strong and healthy, your mind focused and balanced, and your spirit calm and peaceful. Yoga is a great way to relax and distress after a long day at work, or just get the blood flowing in your body before starting off your morning. It can also be used as an effective form of exercise if you are looking for something more than just stretching. If you have never tried yoga before, it is important to find a studio that is right for you. This may mean looking into different types of classes, such as hot yoga or vinyasa flow, or even different studios and instructors in your area. It can also be beneficial to try out a few different classes before deciding on one that works best with your schedule and goals. If you are just looking for a quick way to stretch out your muscles, trying yoga at home may be a good option. There are many different types of yoga available through DVDs or online videos, which can provide options for beginners and more advanced practitioners. For most people, the main reason for practicing yoga is to maintain or improve their health. These are known as Hatha Yoga poses as they are designed to help with everyday bodily pains or aches. There are many other types of yoga that focus on spiritual enlightenment or relaxation rather than exercise or health benefits. Yoga is a great way to relax and distress after a long day at work or just get the blood flowing in your body before starting off your morning. It can also be used as an effective form of exercise if you are looking for something more than just stretching. For most people, the main reason for practicing yoga is to maintain or improve their health. In all matters, we wish you well and welcome you back for our next video. Until then, be well.